Hey guys, welcome to another product review by tvme.co.za. In this video, we'll be having a look at the Dolomy D5 TV box. The Dolomy D5 Android TV box is one of the favorites in the market right now, and just looking at it tells you why. This model comes with Rockchip's RK3229 quad-core Cortex-A7 chip, running at 1.5GHz and boasts 2GB of DDR3 RAM, with 8GB of onboard storage. The visual appearance of the box is quite something to be desired, with its futuristic black prism layout on the top, layered with a matte and gloss finish giving this device a truly unique look and feel. At a quick glance to the side, you'll find a SD card slot for storage expansion, as well as two USB slots for additional hard drive or device inputs and on the back, you'll find the power input, HDMI connector, AV out, network adapter and an optical audio output. Also included in the box is the DC5 volt power adapter, an HDMI cable, user manual and a remote. The remote has all the standard features that you would expect, like volume, skip, enter and a directional arrow pad, as well as a dedicated home button, internet browser and a mouse toggle pointer. It's also worth mentioning that this remote has a built-in study function, so you can grab basic commands from your existing TV remote and program them to this device. We've tested this out and it actually works. Despite all the benefits of this handy little remote, we do recommend using a more robust keyboard touchpad for a better experience with your TV box. The TV box boots up pretty quickly into the home screen interface, which is very well laid out and is easy enough to navigate through. So if this is your first TV box, you'll get comfortable with the interface in no time. With most Android devices, you'll find resources in the top fold like connectivity status, location, weather, date and time, and also update notifications. If you're using a touchpad or a traditional mouse, you can gain access to the drop-down notification panel and lower system bar for quick toggle preferences straight from the home screen. If you've ever used an Android device, you'll feel right at home with the settings application. From here, you can adjust your Wi-Fi network, Bluetooth connections, display and sound settings, storage and application preferences, and in languages, we have English, Afrikaans, and Zulu as well as many others, which is a huge win. Other popular streaming TV apps that are available in South Africa, such as Netflix and Amazon Prime, work seamlessly on this TV box, and installation is as simple as downloading the app from the Play Store. One of the biggest factors to take into consideration when streaming movies and TV series is a good internet connection, which is obviously required. This TV box has a pretty good Wi-Fi reception to handle media consumption, but for the best performance, we do recommend having the TV box connected via a network cable or having your Wi-Fi router in the same room. Do note the TV streaming services Netflix and Amazon Prime are subscription-based and do require an account. And lastly, if you're into games, this TV box is a dynamite little machine when it comes to handling some light to medium gaming. Some of the gameplay can be managed with the standard remote that comes in the box. However, some games may require a keyboard touchpad or something like the Tronsmart gamepad, which are both available at our store. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed this product review. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop us a line and we'll get back to you in no time.